KeyBank out today with some calls and some big retail names. First, downgrading Nordstrom and Urban Outfitters to sector weight. The firm says both are seeing pressure from e-commerce. Also, while they like Nordstrom's recent initiatives, it hasn't been enough to drive traffic. But they're getting bullish on Stitch Fix initiating coverage with an overweight, saying they expect the service to build more market share. So joining us now on the CNBC Newsline is the analyst behind the calls, Ed Iruma. Ed, thanks so much for joining us here today. I understand you're on the phone because you're at Nordstrom's Investor Day. So that's where we'll start. You've downgraded the stock. So I guess that means you're not hearing anything at the Investor Day to make you change your mind, even despite those long-term financial targets that they've given. Yeah, look, I think Nordstrom is clearly doing the right thing for their business. They're continuing to invest, and certainly they're going to be one of the success stories longer term from a market share perspective. But ultimately, this level of investment continues to depress earnings, and I think that's one of the reasons why we stepped to the sidelines. Hmm. Okay, they've also mentioned that they're looking into that Nordstrom local concept, adding more in L.A., which is where the current one was, and, and potentially one in New York. I want to make sure that we have time to talk about Urban. This was sort of a pair trade, Urban and L Brands, but you think sort of the time has come for that run to end for shares of Urban Outfitters. What's your thesis there? Uh, you know, look, Urban, again, has done a great job in transitioning to e-com. They've managed to not, ex to not over expand, which we think has benefited them, but you know, given kind of the returns we've seen since we put on the trade back in March, we think it was time to at least take uh, that off the table. We would say that they're probably in kind of the sixth or seventh inning of their turnaround, uh, and I'm, I'm not, uh, not interested in hanging around for the last couple. Ed, I want to turn to your initiation of Stitch Fix, which hit a, a new high in today's session on the back of the initiation to an overweight. Uh, I'm curious, what kind of moat do you think Stitch Fix has as opposed to other retailers that are collecting plenty of data, which I have a history of shopping at? I would tell you that the data is not only the shopping behavior, and we think that that's the significant moat there, but they're also collecting data on every component of that garment, right? The size, the sleeve length, the chest size. And so they're able to take that data that, you know, what you purchased and more importantly, what you didn't like and synthesize that for better recommendations going forward. There's a focus and a way that they embrace data that candidly we just don't see across uh, many of our traditional retailers. So, Ed, if you're a brand, do you think that you need to pay attention to Stitch, Stitch Fix and try to become one of those garments that gets offered ultimately in the box? Absolutely. And in many of our conversations, we've heard some very positive things from vendors uh, who really applaud Stitch Fix for having a very collaborative relationship. So, uh, you know, if, if sizes don't fit, if colors are off, frequently Stitch Fix will convey that information to the vendor, and the vendor can then design against that. So. I think it's that data and that openness to collaborate that really differentiates the company. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.